Hi, in my last video I tried to make my own wireless lavalier microphone which kind of failed due to the great latency of audio versus video. And here's how I sound. Isn't it just a genius design? But fortunately, Rode microphones came to my rescue and put me out of my misery providing a shotgun microphone and a wireless lavalier microphone and they provided extra to give away to my viewers and patrons at the end of the video. Back to my lavalier design, I realized that the latency was due to the fact that I was using a smartphone as FM receiver. The phone audio codecs and software layers add around 300 milliseconds of delay to the audio. Using a dedicated FM receiver like this one, which I picked up for around $25, removes the latency. See? Uh, see, now there is no latency between the audio and video. I can't even plug this into the camera. Now the radio is plugged into camera's audio input. See, the quality is not awful and with some design improvements and for around $50, this could be a poor man's wireless lavalier. But the whole point of using a smartphone was to eliminate the need of an additional receiver and make a cheap and high quality solution. I almost even started a Kickstarter campaign on it, in which case I would have ended up like Muso's noise cancelling system. The project died in fetus stage before I could scam the masses. Now let's see if Rode can in fact solve my issues. Mind you, I'm not a sound engineer, but I'm an electrical engineer, which makes me a god. A Persian god. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, that's a different movie. What am I talking about? Anyway, let's see if I can cram all the information and pass it out in a short time. My main problem was noise and echo. There are two kinds of noises in my opinion. One of them is this white or pink noise or static that you hear as this shh in the background and the other one is environmental noise like cars and stuff. I guess you can consider echo as environmental noise too. Fortunately for me the camera's white noise is so loud you can barely hear the street noise. <laughs> First let's quickly go over the settings my camera provides which is a Canon T4i. For sound recording it provides three modes auto, manual and disable. In auto mode there is a fixed audio gain unless the sound is too loud and the camera drops the gain to prevent audio clipping. In manual mode there is only a fixed gain and the sound could clip if it is too loud. When in manual mode you can select the gain that's suitable for your audio level. And then there is a wind filter and attenuator. If you enable the wind filter it gets rid of the low frequency wind noises. And if you enable the attenuator it drops the gain no matter what mode you're in by I'm guessing around 10 to 12 dBs. Now I believe wireless lavalier will provide the best results but let's check the shotgun first because it has very good benefits too. Let's check its controls. This microphone can power with two AA batteries or its own rechargeable battery. Then there is a power button. For gain level you can have 0 dB, plus 20 dB or minus 10 dB. If there is low frequency noise you can cut it off below 75 Hz or below 150 Hz. You can drop the gain on the right audio channel as a safety measure if you are worried that the sound is too loud and it might clip. Also you can boost the frequencies above 7 kHz if that's something you want. Now I want to isolate the noises. That's why I came into my sophisticated sound room which is my closet. And also I'm gonna talk softer so you can go ahead and raise the volume and hear the noise better. Okay, sorry, no clapping. You may have to change the volume multiple times during the video to better understand what I'm saying. Raise the volume now to be comfortable with this. What you hear right now is the camera microphone at default settings. Listen to the noise. It's quite noisy. Now I have the camera attenuator on. You see that the noise is significantly lower, but at the same time my voice is also softer. So the signal to noise ratio is around the same. If you want to hear me the same, you have to change the volume on your side, which returns the noise back to what it was. The benefit of this is that now I can talk louder to increase the signal to noise ratio. Now let's add the Rode shotgun to the mix. Now I added the shotgun at 0 dB. Listen to the noise. It's around the same, maybe a little bit different in spectrum. The noise wouldn't go lower than what camera already adds in this mode anyways. And my voice is around the same level. Again, if I talk loud, I increase the signal to noise ratio. This is how I sound with the shotgun. And this is how I sound with the camera microphone. 
Of course, you can use an extension cord and bring the microphone closer, which will significantly increase your sound level. Because the camera is in auto mode, it will drop its gain to prevent audio clipping, and that will reduce the noise significantly as long as you keep talking. That's why a wireless lavalier can work better, because the microphone sits close to the source, unlike the shotgun sitting at the camera. Now I don't know why somebody would use a minus 10 dB gain unless you are in a very loud environment that the background noise is not an issue. Minus 10 dB gain would actually hurt the signal to noise ratio. So let's use the plus 20 dB gain. I'll have to talk very soft. Listen to the noise. It's larger but it's not huge considering I put 20 dB gain on the microphone. This can serve two purposes. One is to pick up sounds from far away. Okay. Now I'm around 20 meters away from the microphone and you can still hear me clearly. This is due to the great noise performance of the Rode shotgun microphone. 20 dB means 100 times higher voltage level, but clearly the noise level hasn't increased as much. The other use is to put the camera in manual mode and reduce the gain significantly to avoid audio clipping and there is no white noise anymore. Unfortunately for me, my preferred level is plus 10 dB, which this microphone doesn't provide separately. 10 dB would be louder than 0 dB, so I can keep the camera in automatic attenuated mode. I like the automatic mode because it prevents sound clipping. To get to the 10 dB audio, you can separate the right channel in post-processing. But I hate post-processing and want to minimize it, so I made a special cable. I put a switch on an audio extension cable so that I can select microphones either left or right channel and feed it to both my camera's input channels. So I can pick the 10 dB. Let's try it. First, this is my camera's microphone and default settings which I've always used. Adjust your volume and listen to the noise. Now I'm using the shotgun at plus 10 dB and camera at attenuated auto mode. See, the noise is significantly lower, although it is still there. I'm sacrificing a bit of noise performance to keep my beloved auto mode. My voice is loud and the noise level is much lower than camera's stupid microphone default settings. And what a lot of people do is to play music on their video, so it's almost impossible to hear background noise over the music. So that's another trick. But if you're not afraid of clipping your sound, using the microphone at plus 20 dB and camera at manual minimum gain gives you the best results for white noise. Now let's get to environmental noise, street, echo and stuff. Gain control do nothing when it comes to environmental noise because it's already mixed with your voice at the microphone. But a shotgun microphone greatly helps with such a noise because it's very directional and attenuates the echo and noise that comes to the microphone from its sides or behind. Unfortunately for me, the window is right behind me where the noise comes from and the shotgun can't do shit about it. That's why soundproofing your room is very important. Well, I'm stuck here, so boohoo. There is a solution which is to bring your microphone close and reduce the gain so that your voice is dominant over everything at the microphone. But unless you're a reporter, you don't want to carry your microphone around like a dork. And that's when Rode's wireless lavalier, which is my favorite solution, comes into picture. The microphone is always close, so your voice is loudest. Let's check some of its features. The system comes with a nice lapel microphone. Transmitter has a gain of 0, plus 10 or plus 20 dBs and also a link button. A power slash mute button and a channel display. The receiver has a gain of 0, minus 10 or minus 20 dB. Power button, a nice status display, channel select button and a mute button. And of course you plug it into camera's audio input. This system only supports one transmitter, so if you want to record more people, you have to buy more of these or buy a system that supports multiple transmitters, which becomes very expensive. In such application, a shotgun microphone becomes very cost effective because you can record as many people as you want. The noise performance of this system is very good and similar to their shotgun microphone. Right now, this is camera's microphone in default settings. And this is Rode microphone at 0 dB with camera in attenuated auto mode. And of course you get the best noise performance with Rode at plus 20 dB and camera in manual minimum gain. And with this, I can walk anywhere I want and my sound quality remains the same. Hmm. <laughs> Now a few things, although keeping the microphone close is good, bringing it all the way to your throat hurts the audio quality. So keeping it down there makes it sound much better. 
You can attach it on the side, but then if you move your head, it will significantly affect the volume. Keeping it down there, even if you move your head, the volume is not affected unless you drop your head like this. Now let's check the ambient noise and echo with different setups. I'm sitting opposite to the window so that the noise is behind the camera and I open the window to increase the noise. Also, I change the camera to manual so the gain won't fluctuate. This is the camera microphone. This is the shotgun microphone. And this is the wireless lavalier. Both these microphones have very good performance and I would say wireless lavalier wins quality just because it sits closer. Otherwise, the shotgun is not far behind. It's easy to set up and also in some applications like recording multiple people, it's easily ahead. Either way, I have both. Give away time! Thanks to Rode, I have one of each microphone to give away to my viewers and patrons. Of course, patrons are automatically included and they receive more rewards too. So if this is something you need, make sure to subscribe to Rode Microphone's YouTube channel and also leave me a comment so I know you need it. Something like, put me on the road to success or whatever. Be creative. No bonus points for creativity.